Okay, we now have the drum tensioned evenly. Um, it's close to the pitch that we want, and now in order to get the precise pitch, the best way to do this, aside from using your ear, is to use a tuner. In this case, we're going to be using the Korg CA40 tuner. It's a chromatic tuner, and we'll need to make an adjustment because the bagpipe is not really set on a chromatic scale. It's in a different world entirely. But no matter, we can still adjust this or calibrate it to where we can get very, very close to the same A on the bagpipe as we have an A on the tuner. This tuner is, you're able to calibrate it. So using these two buttons, I can move and change where the normal A on a piano is A440, concert pitch, but in many cases nowadays, the bagpipes can be anywhere from A is equal to uh, 476 all the way up to 490. But we're gonna stay in the range where this tuner allows us to be. It goes up as high as 440, excuse me, 480. So I've calibrated this to A is equal to 480. Now you can get a reference point from the best place actually would be the pipe majors either chanter or drones. I prefer listening to the drones and getting this set on the drones. So I'll establish and let's just say 480. This is as high as this will go and once I get the reference point from the bagpipe I can adjust this in this case I'll have to adjust it down if it's any lower than 480. If it's any higher, then I see where the needle falls and that is my reference point. So if it's over 480, let's say plus 20 on our gauge, well, that's where we're gonna tune the bass drum. So it doesn't have to necessarily, it doesn't have to be technical. We just are looking for something, a reference point where we can set our drum according to the, uh, the drones of the bagpipe. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna double check and see where my drum is. I want to find out the pitch. So I'll hold the tuner and the microphone is right down here by the way. Should be able to pick it up even though the, the microphone is not facing the bass drum but that's the best place, to, best way to hold it is like that so that you can get uh, a good good sound off the, the bagpipe or excuse me off the bass drum. And as you can see it is telling me that I have a G sharp, which is pretty close to an A. So I need to tension this thing up. Okay, now bear in mind once again, all my tension points are what I consider to be even. You can always double check by placing your left hand over the opposite, or over the left side of the drum. Okay, reference point. Carrier right side to left side. Place my hand on the left head. Sounds pretty even to me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double check to make sure that this head is the exact tension, has produces the same sound as the opposite head. That's the drum being in tune with itself. If one head is tighter than the other, your drum is not going to perform the way it should perform. Both heads should be moving, resonating at the same frequency. So, take my hand, I place it on the left head, and I can tap it with a mallet. Now I repeat the process. I go to the other side, I put my hand on this side of the drum and tap the other side. The drum is in tune with itself, very zen-like. So I've established that the drum is at a G-sharp. It needs to come up. Now, now that the drum is pretty close to being in tune and we've taken all the slack out of it, I don't see the need to do the crisscross pattern when the drum is this close. When we're putting new heads on, it's important to try to keep everything balanced. As long as you don't overcrank any particular lug. Since this is in tune, 
all the way around, we need to find a starting point and work all the way around using small increments. In this case, I'm just going to turn it maybe an eighth of a turn all the way around. Get a reach around this carrier here, or this stand. Stands are very handy things to have when you're tuning a drum. Uh, that pitch has come up. Let's see where we are. Wake up the tuner. Well, what do you know? Just a tad over 480, but we're really close and in the neighborhood. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double check once again to see if there are any particular lugs that may have gotten a little tighter than the other. This one's a little bit tighter than the rest. I'm going to take it down just a bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the heads just a bit by squeezing both of them just a little. Make sure that there's no part of the head that's sticking on the bearing edge. And check it again. Right on the money. 480. And I'm using A because it's probably the most common note used to tune the bass drum. The idea behind pitching this to the bass drones is that you have a functionally tuned instrument that's an integral part of the band. It doesn't just produce a, a percussive effect, it produces a distinct note which helps with your overall ensemble sound. So that's why the A is probably the most popular note that bass drums are tuned to. That's functional tuning.